Hi, I'm Aaron with PRP Seats, and today we're going to go over how to install our new XC seats in the Yamaha Wolverine. So you first want to start out by pulling your old seats out. It's pretty simple. You're going to pop this cushion up, pull it out, set it aside, grab a uh, 12 millimeter socket and remove the four bolts that are holding the seat in. In order to remove the stock seat, you're going to want to remove these four bolts. One of them is hidden underneath this uh, plastic dust cover. Once you got those out, just lift the seat out. So you're going to notice that the install kit comes with these four square spacers and you're gonna use those on the four mounting holes. Now on the back one, there's a dust cover that you're gonna to wanna to remove. You're just gonna to wanna to pull it up for now, pull it off of there, set it aside, and then set these spacers, one on each bolt hole. Once those are down there, you're gonna to wanna to take the two larger mounts that are labeled passenger side. Set them down. We have multiple holes on these mounts, and the, these are used on the driver's side, so you could adjust the seat farther forward or farther back. On the passenger side, we have it just set up so it's in the all the way back position. Use the four bolts that we've provided. They're a little longer than the stock ones. Now that you have these four bolts tight, you can put this dust cover back on. When you go to slide your seat in, you're going to notice the back of our seat has two little fingers sticking out and each one's going to slide underneath this groove and there's a front strap that's going to line up with these bolt holes up front. Here is the bottom of your PRP seat. You notice there's those two fingers I mentioned that slide underneath the back. And here is the two bolt holes up front. You're gonna notice this seat is a really tight fit. We tried to build the seat as wide as we possibly could to provide more room for the occupant, but it does touch on both sides. It's gonna to touch here, it's gonna to touch down here on the plastic, but it does leave a nice opening here for your stock seat belt. Once you've slid your seat in and the back of the seat is hooked on the latches, you're going to want to use the two one inch long quarter 20 bolts and washers that we've provided. And we've already welded nuts on the bottom of the seat. So those two holes underneath here, you're just going to want to slide these bolts up in here. All right, once you've gotten the two front bolts, tightened up, <clears throat> see your seat solidly mounted, you're ready to use it. And just repeat the same process on the driver's side. On the driver's side, we've given you a couple different mounting options so you can move the seat forward or back. Right now, this position is all the way back. If you pull these out, you notice we have three holes here. Just slide it forward. That's gonna be a little bit farther forward. And then all the way forward like this would get you nice and close to the steering wheel. You'll just put these bolts back in before you put the seat in. 